straight towards that uh, big old sunset over there. I should be heading west. Northwest. Fantastic view now. I'm starting to get a little bit concerned regarding the fuel use and general performance of, of the boat now. Um, we're now uh, three, four months after the scrub, the lifting scrub. There's obviously a lot of, of growth on the surface of the, the hull again. We're currently at 12 knots with the throttle fully open. Uh, I'm only managing to get 3,200 RPM. just not, not performing the way I want it to. There's a couple of thoughts that I've got at the moment. Um, that it's a fuel problem, as well as the, the growth on the hull. But on top of that, I think we've got a bit of a fuel issue in terms of um, the injector is or the injector rail. Um, it could be a fuel pressure regulator. Could possibly be um, an injector itself is either sticking open or sticking closed, uh, and it's not getting the right fuel into the combustion chambers at the right time. Or a common culprit on this particular engine is the uh, the Volvo Volvo Penta fuel cell. It's um, a twin fuel pump, a high pressure and a low pressure pump feeds the injector system and it's quite possible that the fuel pump is starting to fail. Um, one of the indicators of that is that it makes a high pitched whine and it gets hot. Well, when I was cruising it earlier uh, on the River Hamble at only six knots, I could hear a definite whine at the moment with Sound the air go past, and the engine obviously running at its higher end than it is capable of at the moment. You can't actually hear that whine from the helm position. Um, earlier, I had the engine hatch open while I was running, and I could hear that whining then. So, back to the diagnostics really, see what uh, what is picking up. Um, diagnose as many different issues as we possibly can and hopefully come to a resolution. With the three primary parts identified, the fuel pressure regulator, the fuel pump and the eight injectors, instead of case of looking at the prices for replacement parts, genuine Volvo prices are 248, 1260 and 2,936 respectively. But by using aftermarket parts and non-OEM parts, that's 49, 130 and 160 for a full set of injectors. Also to take into consideration is the time taken to actually fit them. To replace a fuel pressure regulator is only 10 minutes, the fuel pump would be about an hour and the injectors about two to three hours but they would also require possibly a, a refurbishment as well. So let's quickly recap upon the current symptoms. We're seeing a decrease in overall performance, maximum RPM of 3200 and slow vessel speed. A strong fuel smell indicating rich running, poor fuel economy, a noisy fuel pump and a hot fuel pump. The tests that have already been carried out include a cylinder compression test, spark plug check, a visual inspection, fuel tank gauge recalibration and all the sensors have been checked, all proving to be OK. In part two, the tests I intend to carry out is a basic fuel pressure test both on the high and low sides, the fuel pressure leak down test, a fuel pump flood test, the injector trigger tests and the injector leak tests if they are required.